Hello, welcome. My name is Sarah. Um, this is my house. I am trying to get a better studio set going where it is um, a bit brighter. So my last video uh, for Main Street Yoga was a little dark. So hopefully this helps out some. Um, today I'm going to be leading you in a 75 minute vinyasa sequence. Uh, this practice is going to be focused on balance um, quite a bit. So it's actually a really great opportunity at home um, because you may find it easier to go to a wall if you're really struggling with balance in your practice, um, easier than you could in a studio. Another um, really great thing is using a chair, um, but make sure if you do use a chair, it's really sturdy. And one of the things I like about a chair is that sometimes they have these lower rungs, so you can sort of put your hands on them um, if you just want a little bit of a lower uh, balance point if you're in, say, a uh, warrior. Um, balancing or something like that. But again, make sure it's sturdy so that you don't fall over. <laughs> um, so please begin standing, uh, coming to the front of your mat. Stand with your feet hip distance apart and parallel, your hands are down by your sides. And press down through your feet, soften your knees so there's a slight bend in the knees. Allow the Shoulders to come up to your ears, and as you exhale, slide them down and back. The crown of your head is lifting toward the sky. And if it's safe for you to close your eyes while standing, go ahead and close your eyes. If it's not safe for you, if your balance is really challenged today, you can look down at the floor at a still point on the ground so the gaze is lowered. Then take the right hand to the belly, the left hand to the heart. Just take a moment here to feel the sensations in your body. You may notice as you stand here that you feel little movements happening in the body, even though you are standing still. The body is constantly bringing itself into balance. Whenever you are standing and even when you are sitting, Begin to draw your attention down to your feet and notice the pressure of the feet into the ground. Notice the temperature of your feet. Notice if the weight shifts from different areas of the feet as you stand here. Maybe you notice that you put more weight into one foot than the other. See if you can balance your weight out. And bring your attention to the calves. Just noticing the muscles engaging in the calves here. Notice the knees slightly bent to engage the muscles in the legs. Notice the thighs, the big muscles, the quadriceps, the hamstrings. Notice the lower back. Notice any feelings or sensations in your lower back. And running up the spine, noticing the spine as it moves up into your upper back. Drawing your awareness to the shoulders, the shoulder blades. Notice if you're tending to hunch forward and drawing the shoulders back. Notice the area around the spine as it goes through the neck and into the head. Notice the crown of the head energetically pressing up toward the sky. Imagine you're like a stack of rocks. We call it a cairn in Australia, where you stack round river rocks, one on top of the other. And just like that, your body is in balance. Each part of your body needs to be stacked on top of the part below it in order to find balance, to stay upright. Begin to draw your awareness to your breath. Allow your belly to be soft and relaxed. As you inhale through your nose, begin to deepen your breath. 
Allow the belly to expand under the right hand as if there's a balloon in your belly being filled by the air as you breathe. Deep inhale, belly fills. Slow exhale, belly contracts. Deep inhale, belly fills. Slow exhale, belly contracts. Continue for a few rounds with this belly breathing technique. And stay with this visualization of the belly filling up. Or if it's useful to you to feel more grounded through the feet, you can imagine as you inhale, the breath is coming all the way in, all the way down to your feet. And you're not trying to breathe into those areas, rather than just imagining the breath is coming in all the way down into your feet, rooting through the ground, and then drawing up and out as you exhale. So it's a visualization. Deep breath in, belly fills. Exhale, belly contracts. Deep inhale, belly fills. Exhale, belly contracts. Deep inhale one more time. And then open the mouth and exhale with a sigh. <sighs> Allow your hands to come down by your side. Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, draw the right ear to the right shoulder, all near you. Exhale all the way down, looking toward the ground. The eyes can remain closed, or you can open them here. Inhale, left ear to left shoulder. Exhale, head comes down toward the ground, stretching the back of the neck. Shoulders pull away from the ears. Inhale, right ear to right shoulder. Exhale, head comes down, looking at the ground. Inhale, left ear to left shoulder. Stretching the right side of the neck. Exhale, looking down. Inhale, right ear to right shoulder. Exhale, looking down. Inhale, left ear to left shoulder. Exhale, looking down. Inhale, right ear to right shoulder. Exhale, looking down. Inhale, left ear to left shoulder. Pause here and draw the head all the way up to center. Take a deep inhale, draw the shoulders up to the ears. Allow the elbows to bend, so making shoulder rolls here, but drawing the whole upper body into this movement. Inhale, shoulders lift, arms lift, elbows lift, drawing the shoulder blades together. Inhale, again, up and around, feeling the space across the chest open. Inhale, draw the shoulders forward, up to the ears and back, elbows bend. Inhale, come around again, drawing it in and then out. One more time, drawing the arms forward, hunching the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, as you open the chest, reach back. And this time, hands come down by your sides. Begin to move the left wrist, I'll mirror you, in a circle. So you can allow the elbow to move here, feeling this rotation all the way up the body, up the arm to the shoulder. So really warming up the joints of the body here moving the hand in a circle so that the wrist is flexing, stretching the front of the forearm and the back of the forearm. And then exhale, that hand comes down by your side, right hand begins to turn in circles. Again, elbow bent, shoulder is moving as well, so the whole arm is engaged still grounding down through the feet. So beginning standing is really developing this base that we're going to use all through our practice today, developing a better sense of balance. Exhale, 
exhale, hand comes down to your waist. Take your uh, feet about as wide as your mat, or a little wider than your hips. Bend your knees and begin to press the hips over to the left, back toward the um, space behind you, over to the right, forward, tucking the tailbone, over to the left, out behind you. Big circles here. So feeling the joints in the pelvis, feeling the hip sockets, feeling any tension that might be there for you in around the pelvis, maybe the glutes and the hamstrings as well. And take the circles in the opposite direction now. And next time you inhale, come back through center. Come to a stationary position and step your feet hip distance apart and parallel once more. Pour your weight into your right foot. Draw the left toes, um, to, sorry, draw the left heel up off the ground so that the left toes are on the ground. And then take the foot slightly behind you. Begin to turn the ankle in circles here. So you're rolling around on the ball of the left foot. Feeling this rotation through the ankle and into the knee, and then up into the thigh, even into the hip. Take a deep inhale when you're ready. And then exhale, step the left foot next to the right. Pour your weight into the left foot. Take the right foot behind you slightly and begin to circle that foot. So circling the ankle, feeling the movement into the knee and the hip. Deep inhale when you're ready. And exhale, step the right foot back next to the left foot. Feet hip distance apart and parallel. Hands come down by your sides. And take a moment to close the eyes here, feeling a sensation that you've just moved from head, um, head to toe through your warm-ups here. Feeling grounded down through the feet. Feeling strong and in alignment in the spine. Open your eyes, take a deep inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Palms come together at the top. Exhale, soften the knees, hinge the hips as you sweep the hands through heart center and fold forward. If you like, you can take opposite elbows here. Allow the head and neck to be heavy. With an exhale, place the hands down on the mat. Step the uh, left foot back, coming into a lunge, right knee stacked over right ankle. Place the left hand down on the inside of the right foot. Inhale, sweep the right arm up toward the sky, so the fingertips toward the sky in a twist. Exhale, place the right hand down. Step the right foot back, high plank. Shoulders over this. Option one for your vinyasa transition. Knees come down, elbows in. Exhale as you lower down. Come to the tops of your feet. Press into the pelvis, elbows in at your side as you lift the chest up off the mat. Gaze is down at the floor. Deep breath in. Exhale as you lower, curl the toes. Inhale, press up into high plank. Pause here. Option one, left knee comes down. Right arm lifts up toward the sky. Modified Vashastasana. If you like and it's in your practice and it's safe for your wrist, you can extend both legs, engaging your core here. 
Exhale, hinge over, coming parallel with the floor again. Over to the other side. Again, option one, right knee down, left arm rises. Or extend both legs. Exhale, rolling over into a high plank. Bend the knees, spread the fingers nice and wide, pouring the weight toward the fingers. Inhale, shoot the hips up toward the sky. The um, shoulders move down away from the ears. The head and neck is soft. Begin to press the heel of the right foot down toward the mat and inhale, lift the left foot. Inhale, switch over, exhale, press down. So moving with your breath here, inhale as you come up. Exhale as you press down. And with your exhale, pressing down both heels toward the ground, shoulders melting away from the ears, arms engaged. So notice if you tend to lock your elbows, allow the elbows to be soft here. Inhale, lift the left leg out behind you. Exhale, draw the knee in toward the chest as you step the foot in between the hands. Place the right hand down on the inside of the left foot. Inhale, left arm reaches. So the fingertips reach toward the sky. Heart is open and twist. Exhale, left hand lands down next to the foot. Uh, and then a, a step forward, coming to the front of your mat, feet hip distance apart. Inhale, wave out halfway, hands are on the shins, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale as you fold. Pull your weight into the feet. Inhale, arms sweep out um, by your sides and up overhead, palms come together, legs straighten. Bring your hands all the way through heart center and to your sides. Pause here, close your eyes. Notice. The pressure of your feet against the ground. Notice the engagement and power in your legs. Inhale, open your eyes, sweep the arms up overhead, palms come together. Exhale, soften the knees, hinge at the hips as you fold forward. Place the hands on your thighs, shins or floor as you fold. Inhale, wave out halfway, hands to thighs or shins. Exhale, fold, soften the knees. This time, step the right foot back, coming into a lunge. Right hand down inside of the foot, left arm sweeps open, opening the chest. Exhale, as the hand lands down next to the foot, step back, high plank. So option two, elbows in. Exhale, halfway down, pause. Inhale, come onto the tops of the feet, the pelvis pressed down toward the earth. The lower back is long, shoulders away from the ears. Gaze is to where it has to be to keep your neck in line with the spine. Deep breath in. Exhale completely. Inhale, come onto the tops of the feet, high plank. Pour your weight into your left hand. Option to put the knee down or roll over onto the outside of the left foot. Right arm sweeps open in Vashastasana. Exhale, rolling over, coming parallel with the earth again, pause, pour your weight into your right hand, option to bring the right knee down, roll or roll over onto the outside of the right foot, inhale, sweep the left arm open, Vashastasana. Exhale, rolling over, parallel with the ground. Pause here, bend the knees, spread the fingers nice and wide, pouring the weight in toward the fingers and away from the wrist. Take a deep inhale as you begin to press your hips up toward the sky, shoulders melt away from the ears. Grounding down through the balls of the feet, pressing evenly through the hands. Deep breaths here. Inhale, right leg lifts out behind you. Exhale, right knee comes into the chest as you step the foot in between the hands. Plant the left hand on the inside of the right foot. Right arm peels open, chest open in a twist. 
Exhale, right hand lands down next to the left foot. Step the left, sorry, the right foot, step the left foot forward. Inhale, wave out halfway, hands to shins or thighs. Exhale as you fold. Soften the knees, press into the feet. Inhale, arms rise overhead, palms come together. Exhale, hands through heart center. And this time, as they come to heart center, pause. Place right hand on the belly, left hand on the heart. Close your eyes and just notice how you feel. Notice if the beat of your heart is beginning to increase or the temperature of your skin is changing. And again, drawing your awareness to your feet as they ground down into the earth. Exhale, hands come down by your sides, open your eyes. Inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead, palms come together. Soften the knees, exhale as you fold. Hands come to thighs, shins or floor, head and neck is soft. Inhale, lengthen out halfway, drawing the crown toward the front of your room. Exhale as you fold, soften the knees, step the left foot back. This time step the right foot back as well, coming into high plank. Exhale, lower down all the way or halfway. Inhale, up into baby cobra, upward facing dog. Curl the toes. Inhale, lift high plank. Bend the knees, shoot the hips up toward the sky. Shoulders melt away from the ears as you press energetically through the hands. Inhale, right leg lifts out behind you. Exhale, right knee comes in as you rock forward, step the right foot in between the hands. Right knee is stacked over ankle, ball of the left foot is up off the ground. Pour your weight into the feet, feel the legs engage. Inhale, draw the arms up to shoulder level. Once the arms come to shoulder level, turn the palms down and press the hands toward the ground so the wrists are flexed. Shoulders melt down away from the ears, so all your energy is grounding down through the floor. Deep breaths here. Inhale, sweep the arms up to shoulder level. Exhale, place the hands on either side of the right foot. Step the right foot back, high plank. Bend the knees, press the hips up toward the sky. Inhale, left leg lifts out behind you. Exhale, left knee comes into the chest as you rock forward. Step the left foot in between the hands. Left knee over left ankle. Right heel is up. Inhale, sweep the arms up shoulder level. Once they come to shoulder level, press the palms down, pause. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, press all your energy down toward the feet. Shoulders melt down away from the ears. Inhale, sweep the arms up, shoulder level. Exhale, hinge forward, frame the foot, step back, high plank. Pause here in high plank. Option to bring the uh, uh, left knee down or to stay up and roll over onto the outside of the left foot. Inhale, right arm rises. Exhale, rock over, high plank. Roll over onto the other side, left arm rises. Exhale, rock over, high plank, pause. Bend the knees on an inhale, lift the hips up toward the sky. Exhale, heels press down toward the earth, shoulders melt down away from the ears. Deep breaths. Inhale, left leg comes out behind you. Exhale, left knee comes in toward the chest, step the left foot in between the hands. Left knee stacked over ankle, ground down through the feet, inhale, arms rise. So shoulder level once again. Take a deep inhale, exhale, press the palms down toward the earth. Inhale, arms sweep back up, shoulder level. 
pausing here, take the right fingertips and scan them up the inside of the left arm as the right hip opens and the back foot comes down to a 90 or 45 degree angle. Sweep the right arm all the way across the body until both arms are coming out at shoulder level. Left knee is pressing toward the pinky toe side of the foot, coming into warrior pose. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, press the hands down toward the earth by your sides. Take the outside of the left hand to the inside of the left knee. Take the right hand to the hip, grounding down through your own body, pressing the left knee away from you. Inhale, sweep the arms up, shoulder level, palms facing down. Exhale, left forearm comes to left thigh, right arm reaches up overhead, and if it's comfortable for your shoulder and neck, you can draw the arm by the ear. Inhale, sweep the arms back up, shoulder level. Exhale, scan the horizon with the right hand, roll onto the ball of the back foot as you face the front of the room in a crescent lunge, but uh, the front knee is bent. Exhale, hinge forward, frame the left foot. And step back, high plank. Shoulders over wrists, exhale, lower all the way or halfway. Inhale, press up into baby cobra, upward facing dog. Crawl your toes, inhale, lift to high plank, pause. Pour your weight into the left hand, roll into the outside of the left foot, right arm sweeps open. Exhale, right hand comes down, rolls to be parallel, and over to the other side. Left arm sweeps open. Exhale, roll over, high plank, pause, bend the knees, inhale, lift the hips up to the sky, and exhale, press the heels down to the earth, the shoulders away from the ears. All ten fingers are spread nice and wide. With an inhale, right leg lifts out behind you. Exhale, right knee comes into the chest as you rock forward, step the right foot in between the hands. Right knee is stacked over the ankle. Round down through the feet. Inhale, sweep the arms up, shoulder level, palms facing down, draw the shoulders onto the back body. Deep breath here. As you exhale, hands float down, pressing your energy into the ground, feeling grounded through the feet. Inhale, arms sweep back up to shoulder level, palms facing down. Sweep the left fingertips across the inside of the right arm as the back heel pivots and comes down to the earth. The foot, back foot is at a 45 or 90 degree angle. Arms sweep out. Warrior two, shoulders melt away from the ears. Right knee is pressing toward the pinky toe side of the foot. Deep breaths here. On your exhale, draw the hands down toward the legs as if you're pressing your energy into the feet. Take the left hand to the left hip, the outside of the right hand to the knee. Press the hip back and the knee away from you toward the pinky toe side of the, fit, the, the foot, opening yourself up and grounding down through the body. Inhale, arms sweep back up, shoulder level. Exhale, outside of the right arm comes down to the thigh. Left arm reaches either up to the sky or over by the ear, palm facing down. Deep breaths here. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Come back to shoulder level and then scan the horizon with the left fingers as you roll onto the ball of the back foot coming back into a crescent lunge. And with an exhale, place the hands down on the earth. Step the right foot back, high plank. Soften the elbows. Exhale, lower all the way or halfway. Inhale, up into cobra or upward facing dog. Curl the toes, lift into high plank as you inhale. Exhale, right knee can come down or roll to the outside of the right foot. Left arm rises. Exhale, back into plank. And then over to the other side. 
right arm rises. Exhale into plank. Pause here, bend the knees. With an inhale, shoot your hips up to the sky, press the heels down as you exhale and the shoulders melt away from the ears. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, widen your feet about as wide as your mat. Walk your hands toward the back of your mat and begin to draw the pelvis down, the sit bones down toward the ground, coming into Malasana. And you can place the hands in front of you or you can bring the hands to Anjali Mudra at heart center, whatever feels most supportive for you here. Deep breaths here. Take one more deep inhale. And then as you exhale, place the hands down and bring them to your sides or behind you so that you can come to sit on your sit bones. You can walk the flesh out from your sit bones if you need to. Take the hands to the knees, draw the chest forward, and then place the hands down by your sides. Take a deep breath in here, exhale completely. Inhale, lift the feet just slightly off the mat. You may like to stay here. If you'd like to go further, calves become parallel to the mat. You can stay here or you can draw the arms by your sides, but chest stays open. So notice if you tend to round, see if you can draw the sternum toward the knees. Option to straighten the legs if you need more. Working with the core here. Deep breaths. One more deep inhale. Exhale, release the feet down to the ground and take them to be about hip distance apart. Place your hands behind you, press yourself up onto the feet, straightening the legs, hinging at the hips, coming out halfway, head extending toward the front of your mat. Exhale as you fold. Press into your feet. Inhale, sweep the arms out to your sides and up overhead. Palms come together. Exhale, hands through heart center and down to your sides. Pour your weight into your left foot. Take the left hand to the hip. Inhale, lift the right heel. You may like to keep your toes down on the ground for this. Or if you'd like to go further, inhale, right foot rises, right arm rises. Exhale as you press the hand, palm of the hand and the sole of the foot toward the ground. Inhale as you lift. So this is where a wall or a chair would be real useful if you're really struggling with your balance today. Pressing down. Inhale, lift the leg, lift the arm. Exhale as you press. Inhale as you lift. This time pause, leave the leg up. Exhale, hands to hips. You can stay here with the leg bent, or if you like, you can straighten the leg, flex the foot towards you. Grounding down through that left foot, deep breaths here. Exhale, place the right foot about halfway up your mat. Turn the back foot out so that it's about at 11 o'clock. The hips are facing the front of your mat. With an inhale, lift the chest, extend the spine. With an exhale, begin to hinge forward, rolling over that extended leg, pouring your weight into your feet, feeling the both legs engaged as they draw toward one another. The head and neck is relaxed. Inhale, begin to peel your chest up off the leg, coming back to stand. Pour your weight into your right foot now and step into that right foot as you lift the left foot off the ground. Draw the left heel toward the sit bone and if it's available to you, you can take the ankle with the hand. Drawing the heel toward the sit bone, stretching the quadricep. With an exhale, release the ankle. Take the left hand to the hip. Draw the left foot up and through. Bend the right knee and place the left leg, left thigh over the right thigh. So I'll turn to face you here. Left leg is over the right thigh. And I'll mirror you. If it's safe for you, you can tuck the toes behind the calf. 
Take an inhale, arms sweep out by your sides. Exhale, right arm, sorry, left arm comes under right arm. You can take opposite shoulders here or interlace the hands, pressing palm into palm. Deep breath. Inhale, arms sweep out to your sides as the leg, right leg straightens, left leg presses toward the front of the room and then draw the um, draw the right, the left knee down and step it to the front of your mat. Mm -hmm. Bring the hands to heart center. Take a deep inhale, lengthen through the spine and then exhale, begin to hinge forward, pouring your weight into that left foot. The right leg comes out behind you as you hinge into warrior three. You can stay here if this is enough challenge for you and you don't need to move any further, stay right here. Or exhale, left fingertips come down toward the ground, either hovering or touching. Right arm begins to open as the right hip opens, coming into a balancing crescent move. So the right fingertips are pressing toward the sky. Stay grounded through the foot. Flex the right foot. Engaging the right leg. Exhale. If you're in balancing crescent, begin to draw the body to be parallel with the earth again. Bring the palms together. Draw the hands toward the heart center. And then everyone inhale, draw the right knee up and through pause as you draw the right knee up and through. Option to stay here, option to take hands onto the hips and straighten the right leg again. Deep breaths. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, right foot lands down on the ground next to the left foot so you're at the front of your mat. Close your eyes if it's comfortable for you. Bring your right hand to the belly, left hand to the heart. Closing your eyes. I'm just taking a moment to check in, noticing how you feel, noticing the quality of your breath. And again, feeling the feet pressing into the ground, feeling your body stacking in alignment on top of your feet, your ankles, your knees, your pelvis, your spine, your shoulders, with the crown pressing toward the sky. Open your eyes and with an exhale, hands come down by your sides. Inhale, arms sweep up overhead, palms come together. Exhale, as you hinge at the hips, soften the knees and fold forward. Inhale, wave out halfway, hands to shins or thighs, lengthening the crown to the front of the room. Exhale, as you fold. Soften your knees, step the feet back, coming into high plank. Shoulders are over wrists, legs are engaged. Elbows in, lower down halfway or all the way. Inhale, pressing up into cobra, upward facing dog. Exhale completely. Inhale into plank, bend the knees, send the hips toward the sky, and then press the heels down toward the earth. Exhaling, the shoulders melt away from the ears. Take a deep exhale as the feet step as wide as the mat. Walk the hands toward the feet. The sit bones lower down toward the ground. And the last and our palms can stay on the floor or in our heart center. Exhale. Take the hands down by your sides or behind you coming to sit on the sit bones. Hands um, come to the knees, chest draws forward, crown lifts toward the sky, and then bring the hands down by your sides. Inhale, lift the feet just slightly, 
or bring the calves to be parallel with the earth. Again, keep the chest open. Stay here or the arms can come out by the side. Then stay here or straighten the legs. Deep breaths here. Exhale, hands come down, feet come down. Take the feet to be about hip distance apart. Use your hands to press yourself up in whatever way you need to, to come to a um, stand with your feet hip distance apart and parallel, hinging at the hips, the heads melting down toward the ground in a forward fold. Press into the feet, inhale, arms rise up overhead, palms come together. Exhale, the hands through heart center, and down by the sides. You can place your right hand on the right hip, left hand can come down by the side, inhale left heel up off the ground, or option to lift the leg to be parallel with the earth, the arm rises as well. So imagine you, you're a puppeteer of your own body here, as you exhale you press your hand and your foot toward the ground, inhale as you rise, exhale as you press. So notice how as you move, balance becomes more difficult. So how can we begin to ground down through that right foot as much as possible? How can we stack our body in a way to create more stability here? And also calming the mind enough to feel um, stable to move while balancing. And this time you inhale, lift the leg, lift the arm, take both hands to the hips. Now pause here, or option to stretch the left leg out in front of you, flex the foot toward you. Exhale, step the left foot about halfway up your mat and take the back foot to be about one o'clock. Turn the hips to face the front. Inhale, lengthen the spine, arching the back just a little, leading with the heart, begin to hinge at the hips as you fold over the left leg, looking toward the toes or the shins. Notice if you tend to crank the neck and see if you can relax the head here. Inhale, peel the chest up off the leg as you begin to draw yourself upright. Pour your weight into the left foot as you step the um, right heel in toward the sit bone. You're welcome just to stay here if this is enough or if you have a strap you can place it around the ankle or if it's available to you draw the um, heel, the, the ankle in towards you with your hand. Exhale, release the right ankle very gently so that you are able to find your balance and draw the right knee up and through. Bend the left leg, pour your weight into the left foot. Take the right leg over the top of the left leg. Option to stay here. Again, a wall can be really useful here. If it's safe and comfortable for your knees, you can take the bind by drawing the top of the right foot behind the left calf. Draw the arms out by your sides. Exhale, right arm comes under left arm as you either take opposite shoulder or interlace the hands. Deep breaths here. Exhale, sweep the hands out by your sides. Then inhale, straighten the left leg, draw the right leg out in front of you, hands come to hips as you step the right foot toward the front of the mat. Take the hands to heart center now, pressing palm into palm, thumbs in toward the chest, bend the right knee, pour your weight into that right leg, into the right knee, feel stability and groundedness through the right leg. Take an inhale, lift the left foot up off the ground, exhale, begin to hinge forward at the hips coming to bring the, par the body parallel with the earth. Now the left leg, you can keep it low if that's enough for you. If you'd like, you can draw the left leg up, flexing the foot. Deep breaths here. 
Again, if this is enough for you, stay here. If you'd like to move into a different pose, right fingertips to come, come down either to touch the ground or to hover. Left hand sweeps up as the body opens, so the right hip, the left hip pulls back. The foot is flexed. The gaze can be wherever it is comfortable for you. Deep breaths here. Exhale if you're in the balancing crescent. Begin to pivot the body so that it's parallel with the earth. The leg is still up in the air. Palms come to meet in front of you, pressing palm into palm, thumbs come into the chest. And then everyone pour your weight into that right foot. Balance the mind as you draw the left knee up and through. So the knee is bent and out in front of you. Pause here. Take the hands to the hips. Again, option to straighten the left leg. Take a deep inhale and exhale, left foot comes down toward the earth. Take one hand to the belly, right hand to the belly and left hand to the heart. Feet are hip distance apart and parallel. Close your eyes and take a moment to check in, noticing the temperature of your skin, the pace of your heart. Again, really drawing your attention to balance, noticing the feet, noticing the legs, noticing your spine, noticing your shoulders, noticing the crown of the head as it presses to the sky. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, take the hands down by your sides. Open the eyes. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Palms come together. Exhale as you sweep the hands through heart center into a forward fold. Head and neck are soft and relaxed toward the ground. Inhale as you sweep out halfway, extending the crown to the front of the room. Exhale as you fold, bend the knees, step the left foot back and the right foot back, coming into high plank, elbows in. Exhale as you lower halfway or all the way. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Curl the toes. In, on an inhale, lift to plank, pause. Pour your weight into the left hand, come onto the left knee or the outside of the left foot as you roll open in Vashastasana. Exhale as you roll over high plank, over to the other side. Right knee can come down if you need a break. Left arm reaches up. Exhale, roll over high plank, pause here. And then inhale as you lift the hips toward the sky in downward facing dog. So pressing the fingertips in toward the ground. There's not too much pressure in the wrists. So spread the fingers nice and wide to balance the weight of your body into the hands. Shoulders melt away from the ears. Deep breaths here. Take a deep inhale, right leg lifts out behind you. Exhale, right knee comes into the chest, rock forward, step the right foot in between the hands. Ground down through the feet, inhale, draw the arms up to shoulder level. Palms facing down, shoulders melt onto the back body. Hips are squared toward the front of the room. Exhale, press your energy down toward the floor. Inhale, sweep the arms up, shoulder level. Exhale, scan the inside of the right arm with the left hand as the back foot drops down, 45, 90 degree angle coming into warrior two. Right knee is pressing toward the pinky toe side of the foot. Gaze is over the right hand, deep breaths here. Exhale, right forearm comes down to right thigh, left arm reaches overhead. Inhale, arms sweep up, coming back to shoulder level, pause. Scan the horizon with the left hand as you roll onto the ball of the back foot, palms facing down, shoulders on the back body. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, this time left hand comes to the outside of the left thigh as the right hand comes to the hip, looking over toward the right side in a slight twist. Inhale. 
Inhale, turn to face the front of the room, lift the arms, draw them up to shoulder level. Pause. Exhale as you hinge forward, placing the hands on either side of the foot, step back, high plank. Shoulders in, sorry, elbows in. Exhale, lower halfway down or all the way. Inhale, upward facing dog or baby cobra. Curl the toes, inhale, lift the hips, pause. Pour your weight into the right hand, roll over onto the outside of the right foot, left arm reaches. Exhale, coming back to be parallel, pause. Over to the left side, pouring your weight into the left hand, rolling onto the outside of the left foot, the right arm rises. Exhale, as you come back to a high plank, bend the knees, inhale, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg comes out behind you. Exhale, right left knee toward the chest as you step the left foot in between the hands. Left knee stacked over ankle. Inhale, press into the feet, sweep the arms up to shoulder level. Palms face down, shoulders on the back body. Deep breaths here. On your next exhale, pressing all your energy down toward the ground. Inhale, arms rise, shoulder level. Scan the inside of the left arm with the right fingers, back heel drops down, foot at 45 or 90 degree angle. Warrior two, pressing your energy into the floor with the hands. Looking over the left shoulder. Exhale, left forearm comes to left thigh, right arm reaches up overhead and by the ear if it's safe for your arm and shoulder. Inhale, sweep the arms back up, shoulder level, pause. Exhale, scan the horizon, red uh, with right hand, come onto the ball of the back foot, palms facing um, down. Ex oh, sorry, right hand to the outside of left thigh, left hand to hip, as you twist and turn to look over toward the left side. If it's safe for your neck, you can look all the way over the left shoulder. Take a deep inhale. Exhale as you begin to pivot and turn toward the front of the room, arms out in front of you. Exhale as you hinge the hips, place the hands down on either side of the left foot. Step the left foot back, high plank. Elbows in, exhale, lower halfway or all the way. Inhale, upward facing dog or baby cobra. Curl the toes, inhale into high plank, pause. Pour your weight into the left hand, roll onto the outside of the left foot, right arm rises. Exhale, roll over, high plank. And over to the other side, the right side, pressing into the right hand, left arm rises. Exhale, left hand comes down, roll into plank, bend the knees, inhale, lift the hips, into downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, step the feet about as wide as your mat. Walk the hands toward the feet as you squat down into Malasana. Palms down on the earth or palms come together. So you're welcome to stay here in Malasana. If you'd like to take crow pose, place your hands down on the floor. Lift your hips up so that the knees are pressing into the backs of the arms. The weight needs to be shifted more into the fingers to protect your wrist. So if you experience any wrist pain here, um, please to stay in this preparatory pose. If it's safe for your wrist, begin to pour your weight into the hands. And if, if, it's, this is, uh, sorry, if this pose isn't in your practice, you can just practice lifting one foot, place that foot down, lift the left foot, place that foot down. Or if you're comfortable moving into the pose completely, pour the weight into the fingers more than the wrist, lift both feet in toward the sit bones. Deep breaths. With an exhale, placing the feet down, coming back into Malasana, sit bones down toward the ground, hands can be in front of you, or palms at heart center. Place the hands down on the earth, and begin to lift the hips and wriggle the feet so the hip distance apart and parallel. Lengthen out halfway, reaching the crown of the head to the front of the mat, 
and exhale as you fold. Press into the feet, inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, palms come together. Exhale as the hands sweep through heart center and down to your sides. Pour your weight into the left foot here. Left hand can come to the left hip. Right leg lifts as you inhale. Exhale as you press toward the floor. Inhale as you lift. Exhale as you press. Inhale as you lift. Exhale as you press. Inhale, lift and pause. Right hand comes to hip. Knee can stay bent or you can straighten the leg, flex the foot. Deep breaths. Exhale, right foot comes down to the earth, turn the left foot out so it's at 11 o'clock, hips face the front of the room, inhale, lift the chest, exhale, hinge at the hips as you fold, looking down toward the shin or the big toe, shoulders away from the ears, heart is open. Inhale, peel the chest up off the um, thigh, step into the right foot and lift the left foot up off the ground behind you. Option to grab the ankle and pull the heel in towards you. Or option to begin to press the ankle into the hand as you hinge forward. This is where a wall would be really useful in front of you or even the chair. And if you like, you can stretch the right hand out in front of you, you as you press the left ankle energetically into the hand. Exhale, sorry, inhale, on your inhale, come back to stand, <clears throat> holding the ankle with the left hand, right hand to hip. Very gently let go of the left ankle as you draw the left foot up and through. And then step the left foot this time right to the front of your mat. Hands on the hips. Actually bring the hands to heart center, thumbs toward the sternum. Pour your weight into the left foot and then Inhale, lift the right foot up off the mat. Exhale, begin to hinge at the hips as you rock forward, looking down toward the floor. Option to leave the foot low if this helps you with balance. Or draw the right leg up, flex the foot, pressing it energetically to the back of your mat. Option to stay here. Option to draw left fingertips down toward the ground or hover. Peel the chest open, peel the hip open. Foot is, right foot is still flexed, right arm comes up toward the sky. With an exhale, pivot, bringing both hands, palms together as the body is parallel to the earth. Draw the hands into heart center, and then inhale, draw the right leg up and through. Knee can stay bent, Hands can come to hips, option to straighten the right leg. Exhale, right foot comes down. Feet a hip distance apart and parallel, grounding down through the feet, hands come down by your side. Inhale, arms reach up, palms come together. Exhale, hinge at the hips, soften the knees as you fold. Inhale, wave out halfway. Exhale, fold, soften the knees, step the feet back, high plank, elbows in. Exhale, lower down halfway or all the way. Inhale, press up, upward facing dog. Or baby cobra, come into high plank, pause. Pour your weight into the left hand, roll onto the outside of the left foot or the left knee. Open the heart as you reach the fingertips up to the sky. Pausing just for a breath, rolling over, high plank, and then over to the right side. On your exhale, rolling back, high plank, bend the knees, inhale, lift the hips, spread the fingers nice and wide, downward facing dog. As you exhale, step the feet nice and wide, walk the hands back toward the feet, squatting down, malasana, palms on the mat or in heart center. Staying in Malasana, if you'd like to try Crow Pose again, placing the hands, spreading the fingers wide, pressing into the fingers so to alleviate any pressure in the wrists, pour the weight of your body into the backs of the arms. And then again, lift one foot, 
place that foot and lift the other foot. Or if it feels safe for you, you can lift both feet, bring them together and draw them in toward the sit bones. Exhale, come down into Malasana, palms facing down or palms together. Exhale, place the hands down. Begin to lift the hips as you walk the feet to be hip distance apart and parallel. Hands on the shins as you lengthen out halfway. Exhale as you fold. Press into the feet, arms rise out by your sides and up overhead, palms come together. Exhale as you take the hands down through heart center and to your sides. Pull your weight into your right foot, right hand to the right hip. Inhale, left leg rises as the left arm rises. Exhale as you press the left hand down, left foot down. Inhale as you lift. Exhale as you press. Inhale as you lift. Exhale as you press. Inhale as you lift, pausing here, left hand to the hip. Option to straighten the left leg, flexing the foot towards you. Deep breaths grounding down through the right foot. Deep breath in. As you exhale, left foot halfway up the mat. The right foot is pointing to about one o'clock. Inhale, chest lifts up toward the sky. Hinge at the hips. Exhale as you fold over the left thigh. Looking down at the shin or the big toe. Deep breath. Inhale, peel the chest up off the leg as you draw yourself to stand. Pour your weight into the left foot. Step into the left foot. Draw the right heel toward the sit bone. Again, taking the right ankle with the hand. Staying here, if you'd like, you can begin to kick the ankle into the hand and begin to hinge forward at the hips. Option to keep the hand on the hip or draw the left arm out in front of you, palm facing inward. With an inhale, come back to stand. Left hand can come to the hip. Gently release the right ankle so that you can bring the right foot up and through without touching the ground. And then step the right foot to the front of the mat. The right knee is stacked directly over the ankle here. Bring the hands to heart center, palms um, pressing into each other, thumbs in toward the sternum. Lengthen through the spine, take an inhale. Exhale, press your weight into the right foot. Hinge at the hips as you fold forward into warrior three. Again, the left foot can stay low. You can, your toes can even touch the ground, or if it's available to you, you can straighten the leg, flex the foot, engage the legs, the glutes, the spine, lengthening the crown of the head toward the front. Option to stay here. Option to draw the left fingertips toward the ground, either hovering or touching, peel the left hip open, pressing energetically through the sole of the left foot, peel the right, the, sorry, peel the chest open, as well as the left fingertips reach toward the sky in a balancing crescent moon. With an exhale, if you're in balancing crescent moon, bring the body to be parallel with the earth, still flexing the feet, the palms come together, pressing palm into palm, thumbs come in toward the sternum. Engage the right leg, bend the knee just a little bit, draw the left leg up and through. The knee comes out in front of you, bring the hands to the hips, press the left foot out. That's an option. You can keep the knee bent if you need to. Deep inhale. Exhale, completely left foot comes down next to the right foot. Right hand on the belly, left hand on the heart. Close your eyes and notice how you feel. Noticing the temperature of, the, of your skin, the beating of your heart, pressure of your feet into the ground, the balance that is in your body in this moment. Take a deep inhale, 
Exhale, take the hands down by your sides. Inhale, arms reach up over the head, palms come to the head. Exhale as you hinge at the hips and fold. Inhale, wave out halfway, hands to thighs or shins, lengthening the crown. Exhale, fold, soften the knees, step back into a high plank position. Exhale, elbows in as you lower down, halfway or all the way. Inhale, press up into cobra, upward facing dog. Exhale completely. Inhale, press up, high plank, pause. Bend the knees, take a deep inhale. Exhale completely. Inhale, press the hips up toward the sky, downward facing dog. Inhale, come up onto the tippy toes. Exhale, come down onto the knees. Take the legs out from underneath you. Come to sit on the sit bones. Bring the feet in front of you. Hands come down by your sides. Chest is drawn forward. Again, if you need that help of pressing the hands into the knees to draw the chest forward, go ahead and do that. Then place the hands down by your sides. With an inhale, lift the feet slightly off the mat or bring the calves to be parallel with the earth. Option to stay here or option to draw the arms out by your sides. Shoulders draw back, heart is open. Option to straighten the legs. Deep breath. And with an exhale, place the legs down, hands come down, and then gently lower yourself onto your back. And just take a moment to notice what it feels like to be laying down, feeling your body completely supported by the earth now. Begin to walk the shoulder the blades underneath the body a little bit and take the hands, um, palms down underneath the uh, sit bones just a little bit, so underneath the flesh of the butt. And then draw the knees in towards you and then press the soles of the feet toward the sky. And you can press the soles of the feet actively toward the sky, flexing the feet towards you. If this is too much for you, knees can be bent. So you can stay here in this um, preparatory pose for shoulder stand, or if you like, you can come into half shoulder stand. If you've never seen this before, I'm going to demonstrate it for you. So you can press the palms into the earth, bend the knees in towards you, and use the hands to press the sit bones up off the ground, and then grab the butt with the hands. Walk the elbows in, and then cradle the hips with the hands. So the feet are pressing toward the sky still, but they're not over past the head. So a lot of people, when they do this, they bring the feet far too, um, far too far back. So draw the legs to be more in line with the hips. So there should be very little pressure in the neck. If this is too much for you, returning to the previous version. If you do have full shoulder stand in your practice, you're welcome to practice that here. With an exhale, bend the knees and slowly begin to lower yourself down toward the ground. Hug the knees in with the arms around the legs and begin to rock from side to side. And coming back into stillness, pause here. Take each hand in the knee, actually take the hands behind the thighs and press the soles of the feet toward the sky again, but draw the knees to either side of the torso. So you can pause here, drawing the knees to either side of the torso. Try to press the lower back into the ground if that's available to you. If you like, you can also grab the feet if you can easily reach and pull the knees down to either side of the torso to stretch the inside of the legs and the hamstrings. <clears throat> 
Take a deep inhale. And exhale, release the feet. And draw the knees toward one another, keeping the feet up off the ground. Take the arms to a T. With an exhale, draw the legs over to the right. Look over your left shoulder, pausing just above the ground. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, over to the left. Look over the right shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, over to the right. Look over the left shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, over to the left. Look over the right shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, over to the right. Look over the left shoulder. This time, pause here. Allow the legs to land down. If you like, the right hand can come on top of the left thigh. If you'd like to intensify the twist, the left leg can um, cross over the right leg. Your legs are crossed, uncrossing the legs, drawing the legs back to center. And just take a moment here to notice how the left side feels compared to the right. And then take the legs over to the left. Again, placing the left hand on top of the right leg if that feels comfortable for you. Looking over the right shoulder if that's comfortable for you as well. If you'd like to intensify, placing the right, crossing the right leg over the left leg. Your legs are crossed, uncrossing the legs, bringing them back to center, and pausing here, noticing how you feel, and taking the hands on the knees, and begin to make circles with the um, back on the ground, massaging the lower back into the earth. And then coming back into stillness. And take a moment to gather anything you need to take care of yourself in a period of relaxation. So if you um, are feeling quite warm now, you might cool down quite a lot. So if you have a blanket handy, um, if you have some cushions, you can place cushions underneath your knees, which is really supportive to your lower back if you have any lower back tension. So taking the time to gather what you need for a period of relaxation. And then once you come down to be on your back, again, just notice how it feels to be on the ground, noticing how the ground has you. So there isn't any need anymore for any pressing or any engagement. You really just let yourself melt into the earth. Knowing that relaxation is just as much as part of this practice as the posture, as the breath. And to assist you in this, as you inhale, begin to tense up the feet, curl the toes under, tense up the legs, tense the buttocks, tense the belly, screw the face up into a tight ball, screw the hands up into a fist, tense up the shoulders, everything is tight. And then exhale through the mouth, let it all go. <sighs> Feeling yourself yield into the earth. And try that again, tensing up the feet, so curling the toes under tension up the legs, tense up the buttocks, tense up the belly, the chest, the back, the hands are in fists, the face is tight, and when you can't hold it anymore, open your mouth and <sighs> exhale, let it go. It's really noticing how it feels to be relaxed now. Feeling the weight of your body yield into the earth.
lines written in the days of growing darkness. Every year we have been witness to it, how the world descends into a rich mash in order that it may resume. And therefore, who would cry out to the petals on the ground to stay, knowing as we must how the vivacity of what was is married to the vitality of what will be. I don't say it's easy, but what else will do if the love one claims to have for the world be true? So let us go on, cheerfully enough, this and every crisping day, though the sun be swinging east and the ponds be cold and black, and the sweets of the year be doomed. Begin to become aware of the beating of your heart. Become aware of the breath as it enters and leaves the body. Become to be aware of the sensations in your body. Become aware of the pressure of your physical form pressing into the earth. Feeling in your body a sense of balance. Knowing that this balance extends from the balance in your mind. If you like, you can begin to make small movements with your feet and hands. Move the head from side to side. If it feels good for you today, you can draw the arms up overhead and stretch from fingertip to toe as if you're waking up for the very first time this morning or today. And then draw the knees in toward the chest, giving them a little hug. And allow yourself to roll over onto one side and pause there with the knees tucked in toward the chest. Laying on one arm, one hand supporting you. So um, really honoring this time. I, we often see, I often see a lot of people rush through this transition and really just allowing yourself to lay here on your side to really transition from your practice and into the rest of your day or evening um, fully and mindfully. And then using your hands to support you gently, keeping the eyes soft and even closed if it's comfortable for you, begin to press yourself up into a seat. And since we did not begin the class by seat, um, being seated, if you need a cushion, uh, grab a cushion just so you can be comfortable to sit on something, allowing the hips to be above the knees. Once you find something to sit um, on and you can sit comfortably, allow the hands to just rest on the thighs and press down through your sit bones, lengthen through your waist, drawing your shoulders back and down away from your ears. The crown of your head lifts toward the skies and the eyes are closed. Just take a moment here to scan your body as you did at the beginning of practice. And just notice if anything has shifted for you through your practice today. Bringing the same awareness to your breath, noticing if your breath has been affected by your practice. You begin to notice the quality of your thoughts, and the feelings of your emotions, noticing how you feel, noticing if anything has shifted there for you today. Bring the hands together in front of heart center, join the thumbs toward the sternum. And bow your chin in to yourself to show yourself gratitude for your practice today. We'll seal this practice by chanting the sound of Om, 
if you're at home uh, and you don't want to practice chanting on, you clearly don't have to, so you're welcome just to listen. We'll take a deep inhale. Uh... in me recognizes and honors the light in you. Namaste. And thank you so much for joining me um, in this video. I um, This is the second video I've made and both times I've had technical issues so uh, eventually I'll get that worked out so I went a bit over time on this one because uh, my timer stopped. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the class and I'll get some more classes out there soon. I think the lighting in this one hopefully was better than the last one. Um, and to everyone at Main Street Yoga in the Main Street Yoga community in Placerville, um, sending you my love and um, wishing you well in your health and happiness uh, during this time. I know it's, um, you know, it's difficult and we're only a few weeks in, so we'll see how much longer it lasts. But I really hope that you're all taking care of yourself and, and I hope that these videos help you feel connected to your practice. Um, if you do want to contact me, uh, you can find my email address. I won't leave it in the um, I won't leave it in the video, so that you can contact uh, Main Street Yoga if you need my email address for any questions that you have. Uh, thank you so much, and have a lovely day.